copyright music, how to deal with it. In this video, I want to give you a couple of tips that you can use when dealing with copyright music. If you have question about anything related to copyright, free free to contact me. Let's begin. Even with music, when you make music, you have copyright on the music. And copyright is just a property. The only problem is you cannot see it, you cannot touch it, you cannot phys physically touch it. So it's important to know when someone makes music, they have copyright on the music. And when they have copyright on the music, they are allowed to decide what you can do and what you cannot do with the music. So some people are offering their music for free so you can use it, but just remember to look at the requirements for using it for example they can say you can only use this music on youtube one of them big a big artist that's producing a lot of music the red fat also use that is saying you're allowed to use my music for free on youtube but you're not allowed to use it on other platforms for free you need to buy license for that so remember when someone is offering something for free especially music you need to read the license in the license you can find the terms for using the music for free if you do not meet the terms you can be in trouble so when you look at um, free music that you can use always look for the license on the what kind of terms are you allowed to use the music another example if I'm using one of the red fat music in my music videos or in my videos I need to um, put his name on it and show that the music is from him that's one of the terms for using his music for free otherwise i need to buy a commercial license youtube offer you a library where you can use music for free i'm going to discuss this for you so you can see how it works but especially why you need to look when you are on that library so for example this is the audio library from youtube as you can see i can use this music you see free music but just remember when you're looking for something always look at attribution not required because if you use this one in every music that you use you need to put the name on the artist on it and that's the nice thing about this because all this music here are for free it doesn't mean they are the best but they are for free you can use them but just remember look for attribution is required or not so that's the thing the same apply for sound effects sound effects is the same as music yeah not the same sound effect is really small but you just need to look for it and which one you can you can use and which one you cannot use so this is um, audio library even at um, even on youtube you find some of uh, big youtubers audio library free music just to remember when you look at the music for example i'm not going to play this music but um, let me pause it Just remember to look at the license. You see, discover the music. You can follow this channel, but here is nothing is said about the license. Here, you will find this website, and it said that you can use this music under the Creative Commons license. So we're gonna go to the website, and then you can see what kind of license it is. As you can see, you are shared. You are shared to use it and adapt remix free too but you have to give credits so when you use this kind of music you have to give credits to the artist so remember when you want to use something for free just remember to look at the terms for using it most people don't do that and that can bring problem for you if you do not do it correct you can get in trouble and the same apply for this website you can use free um, music but just look at the license next time when i talk about license in depth i will discuss this website but as you can see when music look at the license this is an example of license license and look at the terms if you have to put an attribution or not so remember that just remember when you have a license look at the terms because if you're using the music you need to accept the terms if you do not accept the terms you have to get the commercial license and most people do that wrong and they can get in trouble i don't want you to get in trouble <laughs>
this is the end of the video in this video i showed you how you can deal with copyright music if you have question about copyright music or anything related to copyright feel free to contact me see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.